Now that there looks like a perfect tree. It's an elm tree that's mostly dead with most of its bark on. So, doesn't mean it's going to have any mushrooms, but pretty high chance. This time of year the mushrooms are big and they're yellow, so your eyes are drawn to them pretty quick. Uh, I think it's time to check another tree. Alright, I'm on a morel mushroom hunt. It's getting late in the year, uh, May 18th. You can see all the undergrowth is making it pretty hard to see the ground. Uh, I'm at the top of a hill and I just said I want to take a break when I turned around this is what I saw see right there they're past their prime they're starting to dry out oh that's a really good one there actually um, yeah but you can see how hard these are to spot we've got one two four and I have a feeling there's more around here this isn't an elm though this one might be but uh, it's definitely been laying here a while so uh, the shrooms are here but the season's wrapping up I'm gonna give it a couple hour walk and see what I can come up with when I find good spots I'll get some footage of the tree so you can you can see what kind of tree they're producing. Oh, nice elm here. Bark still on it, fell over. There's some fungus there. I don't know what that is. Looks like we got a pheasant back. A dryad saddle right here. A good eating size too but I don't eat those so I'm gonna leave it. Oh well, that's a perfect tree. Right there you can see it's still got all the bark on but it just doesn't have any leaves it's not sprouting at all. So we're gonna go check out that one. This is the tree I was just pointing at. It is a freshly dead elm and you can already see right over there you can see a monster morel. So before I go storming in there, I'm just gonna kinda take a peek around, watch where I step, make sure I'm not crushing any. But this time of year, they're gonna be pretty big mushrooms. They're not gonna, they're not gonna crush. You, sh you shouldn't miss them, we'll put it that way. There's that morel. Good Lord, is that thing huge. Well, what do we got over here? Look at that. Some monsters over here. Oh baby. Oh, they're huge. There's another one right there. It's been smashed. Oh, I almost stepped on that one. Right there. That's why you gotta be careful. Again, another look at that tree. It is a big elm. I have a feeling I'm going to be walking right around this area finding a whole lot of them. Big, big mushrooms. Oh, no. Well, what do we got here? 
Oh my goodness. area they're hiding oh look at that one two three I think those are still firing off of this tree here you can see they wherever the roots are that's where the morels are gonna be sometimes they're right under the tree but not very often tree right there that looks suspiciously dead looks real similar to the one we just found several under so let's check it out well maybe next year this one's still got a little bit of life in it I'll definitely want to come back and check this tree next year though Remember when you're doing this, you want to be looking up and not down. Because if you're looking up, you're going to know where the trees are that produce mushrooms. You're going to find a whole lot more mushrooms if you focus on hunting trees. All right, now that dead elm right there just screams mushroom to me. You got some of the bark off. It's probably only been dead a year. Let's see if we have a little luck by this one. Kind of sit here, see how many of them show themselves. Even though they stick out, they're still they're still kind of hard to find. I mean, look how big these woods are. I've been walking for an hour. It's like a real nice tree here. Just died. Now this tree looks past its prime, but there's still some bark on it, which that tells me it's still worth a look. See a nice pheasant bat growing on that. Those are very popular edible mushrooms as well. Here we've got a dead elm. And right there, so between these two, hoping to find a few here. I haven't found anything for about a half hour. Hmm? Bingo. Got one right here. That's a dandy. Good lord. Nice, nice morale. All right, not very often do you find just one. So I'm really gonna take my time working through here. About to call it a day here. I've been at it about two hours. I do have somewhere to be, so gotta call her quits. But you can see some of these morels are just absolutely massive. It's getting late in the year. A couple of these are were real close to getting past their prime. If they weren't picked for another couple days, uh, they're kind of turning a little bit. As you can see, 
Uh, you know, actually, most of these aren't too bad. That one's getting a little funky, but still good to go. Um, there we go. Beautiful day to be in the woods. Not a lot of quantity here, but the quality of these mushrooms is excellent. Signing out.